welcome to the channel techno spot uh, this is me harish gopale in this video i'm going to tell you how we can implement uh, all our basic logic gates such as uh, and gate or gate nand nor xor and xnor gate by using half -head. so to implement all these logic gates we are going to use uh, logical expression of all the logic gates as well as truth table of all the logic gates also we are going to use logical expression and truth table of half adder okay so to implement all these logic gates first we'll understand about the half adder okay so basically what is half adder so basically half adder is a digital circuit which is used for the addition of two binary digits so half adder uh, having two inputs uh, that it can be a b a and b and a in and b in and it can uh, and the outputs are sum and carry you can see the truth table of half adder uh, which is having two inputs a and b sum and carry so let's understand the working of half adder if both inputs are low the output of sum as well as carry will be low if both inputs are inverse the output of sum will be high and output of carry will be low if both inputs are high the output of sum will be low and output of carry will be high so if you you can see how to perform the sum operation uh, xor gate has used and to perform the carry operation uh, and gate has used uh, you can see the gate level schematic on this screen uh, this is the gate level schematic and uh, this is the uh, block level schematic so we are going to use this block level schematic to implement all the logic gates okay so now we'll first now we'll first implement the and gate um, and gate using half adder uh, you can see the truth table of and gate and logical expression is a and b and what truth table says that if both inputs are high then only output will be high otherwise output will be low and if you see the block um, diagram of half adder so we already got output of and gate in the form of carry from carry we are getting uh, output li like as a and gate okay so implement and gate from half adder is very easy okay now we'll implement uh, nand gate by using half adder so you can see the truth table of nand gate on my screen uh, it is nothing but inverse of and gate okay so logical expression will be q is equal to a and b bar so to implement this nand gate we are going to you uh, will draw um, uh, half adder uh, here you can see on my screen i have taken two half adders to implement this nand gate so first we'll understand the working of this first half adder it is having two inputs a and b uh, and output are sum and carry so as not like a normal half adder uh, will get the uh, output from sum that will be xor gate and uh, output of carry that is and gate so now we are going to use this um, output carry for the as a input for the second half adder now for the second half adder now one of the input is a and b and one input is one itself now here uh, the outputs are sum and carry so we'll use this logical expression of sum to finalize our final output that is a and b bar so if you see the output is a and b bar and one or a and b or one bar so if one bar that will be zero so here you can see uh, a and b bar and one plus a and b and zero so um, as per the um, identity law uh, a and b bar and one will be uh, a and b bar um, or as per the annulment law a and b uh, and zero it will be zero uh, again as per the identity law a and b bar plus zero will be a and b bar only so we got final input a and b bar so this is how by using two half adder we have implemented nand gate now we'll implement uh, or gate by using half adder so you can see the truth table of half adder what it tells if any one input is high output will be high otherwise output will be low so the logical expression will be q is equal to a plus b so to implement this or gate uh, we'll draw the half adders uh, you can see on my screen i have taken almost four half adders to implement this or gate so let's understand working of if each half adder sequentially okay so now this is my first half adder which is having two inputs uh, one of the inputs a and another input is one and the output is sum and carry so in sum we'll get uh, output as a a bar 
okay uh, similarly um, this is the uh, second half header uh, here by one of the input is b and uh, another input is one itself uh, from here also we will get output sum or carry so here also my sum will be b bar and carry will be b so now for this third half header we are going to use the output of uh, first half header as, as a sum and output of second half and half header so the first input is a bar another input will be b bar now from this third half header we are going to use uh, carry output uh, for this first half for this fourth half header so that's why i have not written logical expression for this sum okay so here carry for this third half adder carry will be a bar and b bar okay so now this fourth half adder you can see my one of the input is a bar and b bar and another input is one so now uh, here also output is sum and carry so now to finalize our main output that is a plus b we are going to use this logical expression of sum okay now you can see the sum is equal to a bar and b bar whole bar and one as per the XOR gate or a bar and b bar uh, and one bar so one bar will be zero so our final expression will you, you can see sum is equal to a bar and b bar whole bar and one or a bar and b bar and zero so now here you can see I have taken, uh, I have used two laws. The first law is identity law. As per the identity law, a bar and b bar whole bar and one will be a bar and b bar whole bar. Now, as per the De Morgan's theorem, this whole bar will breaks into OR gate and uh, a will be having double bar. Also, b will be having double bar. You can see on my screen. Plus, as per the annulment law, a bar and b bar and zero, it will be zero only. Now. Uh, now come to this expression as per the double negation law if any variable having double bar it will be always equal to that variable only so a double bar will be a or b double bar will be b itself so finally we got a plus b so as per the truth table or logical expression a plus b we got finally we got the output a plus b By, so this is how to implement this or gate we need four half adders now we'll implement uh, nor gate by using half adder so you can see the truth table of nor gate uh, it is nothing but inverse of or gate and the logical expression will be q is equal to a plus b bar so to implement this nor, nor gate we'll draw uh, half adders okay you can see on my screen um, i am using almost five half adder to implement this nor gate so let's understand uh, working of each half adder one by one okay so this is the first half adder uh, which is having two inputs a uh, one of the input is a and another input is one uh, and the output of output is sum is equal to a bar and carry is, carry is equal to a similarly this is the second half adder uh, one of the input is b and another input is one uh, same like first half adder it will give sum is equal to b bar and carry will be equal to b uh, so this is the th third half adder now for this th third half adder my one of the input will be output of this first half adder and uh, second input will be output of this second half adder so first half um, first input is a bar and second input is b bar okay and uh, here again um, output will be sum and carry but uh, of for further um, half adder i'm going to use only carry output so that's how i have considered carry output only so carry output will be a bar and b bar it is same like uh, or while Im while implementing or gate also we have used the same half adder so okay so here carry will be a bar and b bar now for this fourth half adder my carry will uh, one of the input is a bar and b bar and, uh, and one of the input is one itself so now final input will be uh, uh, sum uh, for this fourth half adder output of sum is equal to a bar and b bar whole bar and one or a bar and b bar um, or zero so if we uh, optimize this logical expression so finally we'll get a plus b as we uh, already solve this expression while implementing or get by using um, half adder okay so now, now for this fifth half adder one of the input is a, uh, a or b and uh, one of the uh, input is one 
and the logical expression of sum is equal to a plus b and 1 uh, or a plus b and 0 because uh, we are going to use this logical expression to get the final uh, logical expression of our gate. So if we resolve this uh, uh, expression uh, a plus b uh, whole bar uh, and 1 plus a plus b g, uh, 0. So as per the identity law it will be a plus b bar and um, here as per the annulment law a plus b or uh, and 0 uh, will be 0. So finally we'll, we got the expression s yes, uh, sum is equal to a plus b bar. So this is how by using uh, the combination of 5 adders uh, we got the uh, a plus b bar. So this is how we have implemented. Now we will implement XOR gate uh, by using half adder. Uh, you can see the truth table of XOR gate uh, on my screen. Uh, what it tells if both inputs are inverse then output will be high otherwise output will be low. And the logical expression will be q is equal to a bar and b plus a and b bar. So to implement this XOR gate we will draw half adder. Uh, you can see on my screen half adder. Uh, uh, to implement XOR gate by using half adder it is very easy because one of the output of this half adder is um, XOR gate itself. Uh, here you can see sum is equal to a bar and b plus a and b bar. Okay. So this is how uh, we have implemented. Now we will implement uh, XNOR gate using half adder. So you can see the truth table of XNOR gate. Uh, what it tells if both inputs are same then only output will be high otherwise output will be low. So here you can see uh, both inputs are low output will be high both inputs are high output will be high. So the logical expression will be Q is equal to A bar and B bar or A and B. Okay. To implement this XNOR gate, we will draw half adders. So you can see on my screen, I have taken three half adders to implement this XNOR gate. So let's understand uh, working of each half adder. So this is my first half adder, which is having one of the input is A and another input is 1. So output of sum will be A bar and carry will be A as we have already saw while implementing uh, OR gate or um, NOR gate. Now, uh, for the second half adder, my one of the input is B and one input is 1 itself. The sum will be equal to B bar and carry will be equal to B. Now, for this third half adder, my one of the input is the out carry output of this first adder, first half adder and some output of this second half adder. So, my one of the input is A and another input is B bar. Now, to finalize our final expression that is a bar and b bar plus a and b we are going to use this logical expression of sum only that's why i didn't write here the logical expression of carry so now if you see the logical expression of sum that is a bar and b bar already b bar as per the xor gate because sum is equal to xor gate only or a and b bar ho again bar now we'll resolve this logical expression so sum is equal to a bar and b bar or a and b bar bar so as per the double negation law what it tells if uh, any variable having double complement that is equal to that variable itself so b double bar is equal to b so final expression will be a bar and b bar or a and b so this is how we have implemented xnor gate by using combination of these three half address so here we'll stop the video. If you like this video, then please subscribe the channel and share with your friends.